Rory here from Postmark Games. I'm playing a solo game of Waypoints and I'm actually doing it on a browser today. So I'm using the website sketch.io and their application Sketchpad, which is a free browser-based drawing tool. And then for my dice, I'm using Google Dice. So you just type Google Dice into the Google search field and you'll get this little widget which allows you to roll all sorts of dice. For the this playthrough, I'm just using a D6, so that's what I'll be bringing in. And I've done a little bit of setup and I've taken the first turn of the game already. Um, for the setup, I chose the goal. Now, in the physical game, in the printed game, you can spin a pen and whichever of the corners the pen is pointing to, that is the goal that you circle. For playing on a browser, I just use a D4. So I rolled a D4, two, so that would have been a B. I rolled a one in the setup. So that's this goal here. So I'm looking for lakes in this particular game. The other bit of setup I've done is rolled for the campsite, so we are starting at campsite two, and then I roll for the first turn of the game, which was a one, which gives me two points of movement, and I headed over to this bird here. Now I need to collect my water for traveling through that lake, and yeah, that would be the end of the first turn. I won't explain all of the rules of the game, hopefully you've checked out the campaign page, if not, head over there and check out the rules video. Um, I will talk a little bit about what's different with the solo mode of waypoints as we play. But for now, let's go on to the next turn of the game. And we've rolled a two, which is five, so that's some good hiking today. Uh, I want to think about what I'm doing. I think I'm going to head over to this bird, even though we're not using our full movement points, because that's only four lines that I've crossed. Um, but I'm kind of happy to see another bird there. So let's roll for the next turn. It is a two. So we advance the weather track two spaces. The main, so the, now I'm thinking about maybe uh, what I want to do for the end of the round. So the main difference with the solo mode is that you need to end three of your four days hiking at a campsite. And actually, if you play on hard mode, you've got to end all four days of your hike at a campsite. So I need to be thinking a little bit about what direction I'm heading in, as well as my journal scoring and my end game scoring as well. Uh, so maybe I want to head down to this campsite here. That's probably the closest one, although this one is maybe an option too. Uh, so with two points of movement, I'm going to need to use some water and I think I'm going to head down to here. So that will cost me a water because actually the sensible thing to do would be to take a little detour and get to this lake here. So that's cost me a water because I've traveled over three grid lines so let's cross off one of these but I've gained a water from going through that lake and then I've gained a piece of equipment as well, some gear, which will hopefully help me out on future turns. Let's roll for the next turn. Five, one, two, three, four, five. So we're kind of getting close to the end of the day now, but I'm hoping that we've got hopefully a couple of turns left, but it may only be one if we roll a six. Uh, so with those three points of movement, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to head up to this mountain here. Gain my eight points for that. And then I'm going to spend a glider and I'm going to glide down to this trig point here. I think, yeah, I mean, if there had been a... A bird that I could have used a glider to get to, I probably would have gone for a bird, but that's not an option in that space. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. So I'll circle this trig point here, and yeah, pretty pleased with that. So let's roll for the next round, the next turn, sorry. Five, so we're not quite at the end of the day, but we're almost there. So yeah, I want to be keeping nearish to this campsite because I want to get there before the end of the day. And let's see what our options are. Um, thinking about my journal scoring for this turn, I would have liked to have gone for this one here. 
Um, so three points per waypoint I've been to at least twice, but I've only been to to birds twice, and I don't think there's much of an option for me. I think instead I'm going to go for this two points per the same waypoint, and I'm going to head down to this one here, this bird here, which again is a water, because one, two, three, four. So let's cross that off. Circle another bird on here. And then we can roll the dice, but we know that it's going to be the end of the day, so I'm actually not going to bother because, yeah, even if it was a, a one, that would still trigger the end of the day. So let's circle this. With our two points of movement, we're going to go one, two, three. Again, I'm going to use a water, and we're camping at campsite number four. So, end of the round, we gain two waters. We do our journal scoring, and say I'm going to choose this one here, so two points per waypoint, per the same waypoint. And I've been to one, two, three birds, so that's going to give me six points, and then it's doubled because I ended at a campsite, so that will give me 12 points there. So, not too bad for a first day of hiking. Let's go on to the second day. We rolled a two, so some good, some good walking weather for us today with four points of movement. And I think, yeah, I'm going to come down to one, two, three, four, to this um, mountain here, which is six. And I'm going to spend my bit of gear to glide, and now I just need to think about where I'm gliding to. So maybe this this turn might be a good one to to try and travel. Although again, I need to be thinking about campsites and where I want to get to. Um, yeah, let's use a glider, and we'll glide to this space. Here, this waypoint here, which is some more gear. So I'll circle that. Yeah, pretty pleased with that. So let's go on to the next turn of the round. And it's a four, one, two, three, four. So one, so not a lot of, uh, of movement options for this particular turn. And where do I want to go? Well, I was thinking about this might be a turn I want to travel quite far, but that one movement point is is maybe going to um, change those plans slightly. I think I'm going to come down to yeah, I'm gonna spend two waters. Come down to this bird here. So actually, I mean, I could have used my my um, my backpack as a, as a coat, and got a bit more a bit more out of that that turn. But I'm kind of thinking I want to save the backpacks for um, a kayak or for uh, gliding if I do want to travel further this turn. So let's roll for this round. Sorry, let's roll for the next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're getting close to the end of the round. We've got two points of movement there, so I think I'm going to head down to, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, so that's all of our water used up um, to get to that bunny. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we might trigger the end of the round now, and I can at least get to this campsite number one. So let's roll, and yeah, that is the end of the round. So with my two points of movement, I can go one, two, through this lake, over the bridge, and safely to campsite number one. So I gain my water for traveling through that lake. I gain my two water for making camp 
and then I need to circle my camp goal and I think I'm going to go for one per different waypoint uh, for this particular hike. It started here and I've gone to all different waypoints. So one, two, three, four different types of waypoints. And again, I'm doubling it because I ended at a campsite. So that will be eight points there. And we'll go on to the third round of the game and roll for that. One, two, three, four, five. So two points of movement. So I've got my I've got a bit of an option in terms of making camp now in the one of these last two rounds of the game. I, I can choose to not make camp at a campsite. Um and I will still fulfil the victory conditions of the solo mode. Because if I don't make at least three camps at a campsite, then I failed the solo mode and, and I don't even, you know, I've, I haven't won, I can't tally up my score. Uh, right, so let's look what we're going to do with these two points of movement. Um, and this bear might be quite interesting. That would take us through another lake again. My journal options now are are getting pretty limited. Or I could travel to, yeah, actually I'm going to do this. I'm going to do one, two, three. So again, I've used water. We're using a lot of water on this um, these hikes, but that's what it's there for. Gain the binoculars. And then I'm going to use the binoculars to see uh, this. Hmm. I was going to use the, to see this gear space, and gain some gear, but actually I'm quite tempted by um, this trig point as I've started going for trig points. So yeah, I'm going to go for that and gain myself some points there. Okay, let's roll for the next turn. There's a one. So it's a sunny and cloudy day. Some some goodish walking. And here yeah, I think. I'll head up to one, two, three, four, up to this mountain here, which is only a small one, so only three points, but then I can use my gear to glide off there. And I'm wondering whether perhaps birds might be quite a good option. Birds and then I maybe try and get up to another mountain and then I can glide off that as well because the bird will give me another glider. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Although I would like to get through this lake as well. Um, now let's go to the bird. Let's, let's go with our first option, first choice. So there's the bird there. I'm getting another glider. Let's roll for the next turn. It's a one again, so we're getting quite a few turns in this day's hiking, which is good. I'm pleased about that, um, but only two points of movement, which doesn't give us many options. One, two, three, four. It would be five to get up to these binoculars, which I couldn't do. One, two, three, four, five. It'd be yeah. Um, maybe one, two. I could get to this bear, which I think is what I'm going to do. So I'll go one, two, three to this bear. I'm just going to use one of my waters. Not really what I wanted to do, but I think I'd rather see something than rest. Um, maybe I can head up to these binoculars on the next turn. Okay, so let's roll for the next turn. It's a five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got a sunny day. We've got a good, a decent amount of walking. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, so I could head up to these binoculars. Again, I need to be thinking about camp because the end of the turn might be coming up. And I might not be able to get to this campsite here. Um, other options, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could head up to this gear, um, which is not which is not too bad. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that actually. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So we used our final water there, but we went through a lake, so we gained a water, but we've gained another gear, and that will let us uh, 
if we do end the round, at least give us a little bit of extra uh, movement because we can use that gear as a coat. So let's roll. Five, so yeah, that is the end of the round. So we've got two points of movement and I'm gonna spend this as a coat. So I've actually got five points of movement. So I could head up to this camp, which is probably the sensible thing to do, but I'm, I'm thinking about these journal scoring and neither of these are particularly great options for me uh, in terms of uh, point scoring. Uh, this might just have to be a bit of a, a weaker day in terms of scoring points. Um, one, two, three, four, Five. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do one, two, through the woodland, three, four, five, and make camp there. So I've been through the woods, and now I wonder whether what what I should get for that. I think probably I'm going to go for this bunny because I want a little bit of extra movement options, and I mean the kayak. Could be could be interesting, but I think going into the final round, I know kind of roughly which of my goals I'm going to be, my journals I'm going to be going for, and I think that the bunny will help most. So I've made camp. I gain my two waters here, and I am going to. I could have actually think about it. I should have gone via that lake, but I've done it now. So let's not let's do no takey backsies. Uh, I gain my two water and then I'm going to pick my journal scoring and I'll pick this one here, which is not going to score me very much at all. I've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've gone through three grid squares, which is going to be, uh, sorry, I've gone through six grid squares, which is going to be three points, but I've doubled it, so six points. Now going into this final round, I've fulfilled, I've officially fulfilled the criteria for winning the solo mode. So I know that I've done the solo mode. I can, I can be a little bit more uh, cavalier in my final round, and I don't need to worry about getting to a campsite. Although obviously the campsites are good for um, boosting this end of day scoring as well. But at least I know that I have won the solo mode, and now it's just a case of trying to get points. Um, so one. That gives me three points of movement. And let's see where we want to go. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I might go up this small mountain. One, two, three. Up the mountain is two points. And the reason I've done that is because the next mountain I see will be doubled. And I'm thinking if there's a chance I can get to this uh, thousand meter peak, which is the tallest mountain on the map, and I can double that, that'll be some great point scoring. So that's what I'm thinking here. So let's roll for the next turn. And it's three, one, two, three. So three points of movement there. And thinking about where I want to go, one, two, three. It's not a bad option to go up to that, uh, that rabbit up there. But I, yeah, I want to be near to this peak really at some point. But let's go to the rabbit. I think we've got time. One, two, two points of movement to get to that rabbit there. Yeah, hopefully we don't roll too high and we've got enough time in the day to, to head up to that mountain. Six. So we have rolled quite high. So now I want to be getting a, a wiggle on and getting over to there. So one, two, three. Three would get me to that bear, which I think is what I'm going to do. Um, I could take a detour through this lake, but I don't. I want to save my water for this mountain, really. So one, two, three, down to the bear here. Gain a kayak, which I may end up not using, but we'll see and then we'll roll for the next turn. It's four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's good. That's not triggering the end of the day, which would have been 
looking sad. So one, two, three, four points of movement does get me up to this mountain. Two, three, four. That's that. So that gets me 10. But because I'm filling it in, this fifth space in the mountain track is actually times two. So that's 20. And then I'm going to use the glider as well I got from that bird. And I'm going to glide down. And now I just need to think about where is a good spot to glide to. I'm thinking maybe this trig point down here. Because um, I've been collecting those. So yeah, let's glide down to this trig point. Circle that. Gain some more points there. So now it's probably going to be the, uh, when I roll, it's probably going to be the end of the round. But as I say, I've made camp at uh, three campsites, so I fulfilled the criteria for the solo mode. So I don't need to worry too much about stopping at a campsite. So let's roll and two, and it is indeed the final round of the game. So with those two points of movement, I need to think about what I'm going to do. And actually, two. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it up to this trig point here. That's a long way away. Um, I think my best bet is either going to this uh, gear space here, which would gain me um, some five points for my gear. But actually, I think what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, head to this bird, which cost me a water, but I've got enough there. In fact, let's do let's uh, let's go via one, two, three, four, five, five, which will uses up all my water, but gains me another water because I went through the lake, and that will help with the end game scoring. And then we'll circle that bird spot there. So there we go. That's a full solo game of waypoints played on. Uh, sketchpad app um, I played on the browser and uh, let's tally up the score I don't think I've done fantastically but we'll see we'll see how, uh, how it shakes out when I add up at least I have completed the solo mode I've, I've met the victory condition so I can now tally up my score and see see how well I've done so for bears I've scored one point for rabbits I've scored four points for birds I've scored 12 points I'll add up all of these, so we have 14, 17, 19, 39 for uh, the mountains. And then let's add all these together, so 5, 17, 26, uh, sorry, 46, 56. I think that's right, my maths might be bad. Correct me in the comments if, if I've made some mistakes. Uh, so yeah, that's 56 for all of those added up. And then uh, let's do these. So these are 18. 18, because I didn't get anything for, for these scores here. Oh, I didn't do my, uh, find, my final scoring. Sorry, this should have been camp. So I need to do final journal scoring. I actually don't think it's going to get me any points because I don't think I saw any. Oh, I saw two, my final um, my final journey. I did see two mountains, so that will be three points there. So not a huge amount, but it, it all helps. So 20, 23, 29. And then let's add up our lakes that we've been through. So one two, three, four, and five, so 10 points for lakes there. And then we just need to add all of this together. So 66, 74, 83, 103, 113. So there we go. That is a full solo game of waypoints. Uh, didn't do particularly great on the scores. I think anything over 100 is okay. Uh, anything in the sort of 150 point region is is really good. 
Uh, it is harder to score well in the solo mode because, as I say, you've got that additional victory condition of needing to get to the campsites, whereas in a multiplayer game, you can kind of be a little bit freer with your journeys. The campsites are good because they double your bonus points, but sometimes you might want to just push for something extra rather than doubling those journal end-of-day scores. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. I hope it was informative. As I say, if you want to check out more of Waypoints, uh, have a look at the Kickstarter campaign page for uh, playthrough videos, details about what's included in the pledge, and all sorts of other good stuff on there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.